Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lizzie, and normally Nikki would be filming with me, but she was not in the mood to film tonight. She is actually in the living room playing a game with her grandpa. So, um, I don't know if you'll hear any background noise or not. If you do, it's Nikki. Um, anyway, um, a few years ago, my grandparents, which are Nikki's great-grandparents, passed away. And we miss them so much, and things have not been the same without them. Now, my grandpa, I called him Poppy. He didn't really enjoy going out to, like, yard sales and things. He didn't even really enjoy going to the stores and things. He would rather stay at home and, you know, uh, he loved to whittle, um, and he loved to be outside when it was pretty. Now, my granny, she loved to go to the thrift shops, and she loved to go to yard sales and things, and we also, one of our favorite things to do was set up yard sales together, and these items that I'm about to show you today, my aunt actually found uh, a few weeks ago and they were in a box and these were items that my granny had put in a yard sale that never sold and she asked if Nikki would like to have them and of course Nikki was very happy to have them um, these are all vintage so the paint is coming off of some of them um, but anyway let's just get into it and show you guys this stuff I personally love vintage items hopefully you guys too hopefully you guys do too sorry about that um, the first item we have is this yellow Sun and it did come with a moon and um, actually we do have the moon but I believe it's in storage I don't know if they gave Nikki the moon part of it a long time ago and we forgot or what happened. But anyway, I know we have the moon. But here is the sun. This is very old, but it's actually in very good condition. Oh, that was one of my hairs on it. Sorry about that. Um, the paint does not appear to be chipping around it or anything. Um, now on the bottom, it does say that it was made in Brazil. Oh, wow. You can see inside where they has been painted and some of the paint um, has actually went on the inside of it. And this was purchased this way now. And the blackness inside, I guess, is just from age where it's so old. I don't know. But anyway, it says it was made in Brazil. And it says, what is that? SKU number... 405829 gift 54 MCS4. I have no idea what that means. But um, these have, like I said, they've been in a box for a very long time, put away in storage. So I'm not sure what that stuff is inside it, but it's probably either from being in storage or just from age or something. I really don't know. But this is really um, unique. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to show you is this little cow i think at one point in time it was a magnet um it doesn't say anything on it but it appears to be in really good shape um it doesn't look like it has any broken pieces or anything again these are very old i do not know where my granny purchased this stuff but i almost bet that a lot of it, if not all of it, was probably purchased secondhand. Like I said, we love to go to the thrift shops and things together. And some of these items might have even been her sister's, which was my great aunt, <clears throat> before they belonged to my granny. They could have belonged to her sister. I'm not sure. Um, unfortunately, my, my great aunt, she's been passed away for several years. She passed away when I was like 11 or 12 I think I was 11 and I miss them all so much but I know that they are in a better place um there's no doubt in my mind that they made it to heaven because they were such good people and it does help when you really have that faith of knowing that somebody went to heaven but anyway this is you know the little cow 
And then there's this, and this is super old. It's like a swan. And as you can see, some of the paint is gone, and it looks like it's even chipped a little bit. And look at the back of this. See how they used to make things? There's cardboard here and some really rusty staples and a little area to hang it. But this is not actually glass. This is made of a chalky material. Um, so, yeah, if that broke, that would be a major mess because of the material it's made of. I hope it doesn't break because I would like for Nikki to be able to hang on to it because it belonged to her great-grandmother. Um, and, yes, Nikki did get to meet her uh, granny and poppy, which were her great grandparents, but they were just as close to her as if they were just her, you know, regular grandparents. She did get to meet them, but unfortunately they passed away when she was very young. But this piece right here, wow, I mean, it is just, it's crazy how they used to make things and how they make things now. You can see the discoloration on the back where it's kind of turning yellow from age. That is crazy. Okay. The next thing that I will show you are these cute little, I guess they're little bears. Um, it looks like a teddy bear with a little teddy bear sitting on top of it. I don't know. Um, it says it is made in China. And there is something engraved on there. But unfortunately, I'm not able to see it well enough to know what it says. But this is super adorable. And we have this. Um, this is like some little bears. And it looks like one of them is... I don't know if it's trying to wash the dish, maybe. And this one's maybe drying the dishes. And I have no clue what this one's doing. But this is really old as well. I think I actually kind of remember this a little bit from when I was a kid. And then there is a sticker on the bottom that said it was made in China. Um, I'm not sure how old it is, but I do know that it is vintage. Okay, then we have this. And this comes with another one I'll show you in just a second. A little pig, you can see that paint is fading from the eyes and the mouth. This is a piggy bank. And you can see the discoloration from age. Um, this was made in Taiwan. Now, the thing about this being so old, we do not want to put change in it. We are afraid that it, we will cause it to break. Because if you look very, very closely, you can kind of see a little crack in there. And um, up here as well. And we're afraid that it will break completely. And we don't want that. So we're just going to use it for, you know, just to set up and have as a memory of Granny. Now we have this one that went with it. Um, it is also a piggy bank, which we are not going to use for that. Wow, these are so old. Yeah, that is just from... Oh, I wonder if that's when maybe the paint came off. I don't know. But, yeah, the paint's coming off here. And this one did have a little vest on at one point. But it is so old, the glue has literally, like, disintegrated. And this came off. Um, I thought about trying to hot glue it. But if you look really close, you can also see the little fine cracks that are in this one as well. So, I don't know if I should try to glue it or if I should just leave it alone because I don't want to destroy it. Okay. Then, we have this set of ducks. And now, when my aunt found this stuff in storage in a box, she did clean it and wipe it off because it had been in storage for so long. But, you cannot get this stuff off. From, I guess, age and paint wearing off and stuff. I don't know. But anyway, they're super cute. They have the little... This one must be the boy duck. It's got the little pink bow. And this must be the girl. She's got the little uh, shawl thing over her head. And where were these made? These were made in Taiwan. Okay, here's the girl...
And then we have one more thing to show you. Um, actually, she did give my, um, uh, she gave Nikki this little set of little wooden things too, like, uh, tissues and like flour and stuff. And we shoved those in a short. Basically, uh, <laughs> back in my day, instead of mini brands, that's what we had. But anyway, um, I don't know where those are at the moment. I know they're in here in Nikki's room somewhere, but I'm not sure where. But they gave, um, my aunt gave her this that also belonged to my granny. It is a piggy bank with googly eyes. Now, we did put change in this one. Quite a bit of change, actually, because there was no evidence of any cracks or anything. And uh, Nikki did want to use it. So we did fill it with change. And I actually remember this a little bit from my childhood, too, I think. Um, but yes, this is super old. Um... The stopper says made in Taiwan, but I do not know if that is the exact stopper that came with this. So, I'm not sure if this was made in Taiwan. But anyway, yeah. I know my, my grandma, she loved to collect figurines and things. I mean, she loved it. So, and uh, she sold a bunch of her stuff when she was still with us. And, um... Because she had so much of it. I and mean, like I said, she loved to collect this stuff. And I'm actually glad that these did not sell. Because now we have even more memories of her. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of these little uh, vintage figurines and things. And I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And we love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Bye, guys.